Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up for the week of March the 6th in my fitness planner. So if you guys have been following my channel, then you already know that for the month of March, I switched out my layouts. I went from the wellness layout to the gratitude layout, which is this. Um, I do like it. I like the fact that I can track all of my fitness up here versus the wellness. I was actually breaking it up. And I actually like using these smiley faces to track how well I ate for the day. Um, I don't actually track what I eat in here. <laughs> um, I do track my macros, but I don't track like my breakfast, lunch, and dinners. So doing that kind of just as a reminder, did I eat a balanced meal? Did I go a little extra on the snacking or did I go out like full out binge mode? So that has been helpful for me. Obviously, I've only been using it for a week. So I can't really speak to, you know, if this is something that is going to continue. But I do like using it. So I may use it for at least a couple of months, if not longer. Now, for those of you who do watch my videos, then you know that I have created my own macros tracker and my Apple Watch stats tracker. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about the macro tracker. So I did put what I use in an Etsy shop in case you just wanted to purchase them. Um, and this is an example of what I use. So if you do purchase it from an Etsy shop, then you'll get this colorful version, um, a black and gray version, an all black version that has like double borders, and then a simplistic version that doesn't have the calories and it doesn't have any borders. And if you didn't like the calories, I have this like line here so you can literally just cut it off if you want. And when you purchase it, you get it in both PDF and PNG. Um, but yeah, so basically what I do, even though I have a Cricut, I don't cut this with the Cricut. I just go ahead and cut this by hand. It's just a lot simpler for me. So that way I can just print a whole bunch of these and then just cut it by hand or use my paper cutter. Now for decor, I'm going to take a break from fitness stickers. Um, I am going to use Happy Illustrations. <laughs> These are super fun. And even though I have the blues, I think I want to go for this jungle vibe. Because when I was flipping through the book, I stopped here. And these are just so fun and cute. So I really want to use these. So I'm going to use these with these. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the green boxes here. And then I'm, my Apple um, trackers are just pretty basic. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I'm going to cut these out and put them on the page. All right, you guys. So I put my stickers down. And if you notice, um, I didn't have anything for Friday through Sunday because I am going away. And while I may be getting a workout in and definitely trying to eat healthy, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be tracking that. Actually, I am 100% sure that I'm not going to be tracking that. So I did not want to record that. Um, I also pulled these boxes, which are from the Happy Planners Don't Give Up Fitness Book, I think it is. So we could definitely use that. And I can bring in, even though I use my green boxes here, we can definitely bring in some more colors. So I definitely think I want to bring in some of these like orange and yellow. And then let's see. They have pink because of the flamingo. So we'll bring in that. I wish the green boxes were a little small, so we might just alternate between, I mean, weren't so small, because we might just alternate between these two then. Can't tell if it's straight or crooked because I don't think these are crooked. I know that these are crooked. You can't tell because there's no border, but they're crooked. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> and apparently I'm mixing up gold foil and not gold foil, but that's okay. This is a fun fitness spread, so we don't mind. All right, so we have all our, so all of my functional boxes are there. Um, I also have bullet points for my workouts. I do have green, but being as we brought in pinks, 
I can pull those out if I can find them. There's some pink here with purple, but I know I have some more pink. Oh, here they are. So I have these pinks and oranges. So I think we're going to kind of maybe use these. Yes. So I um, signed up for, let's go ahead and just do them. Obviously, as I um, I'm going to talk to you while I do these bullet points, <laughs> but I signed up for Les Mills On Demand um, in addition to my Peloton On Demand, and so I'm going to be probably doing some body pump, which means I'm going to need more bullet points because those of you who have done body pump before know that it's a full body workout. It's high rep low weight well semi low weight but there's like a lot of weight changes so like i'll be using different weights for biceps than i do for triceps whereas if i do um peloton a lot of times i'll just go ahead and use you know the same so i don't know i just i I feel like I just need all the bullet points to track all of that because, you know, you have legs, back, chest, <laughs> shoulders. So, actually, I don't even know that these bullet points are enough, but we're going to make do with what we have. Maybe I can do two per, two per bullet. All right, so I've done those. Um, let's pull out some of the... I have browns, I have these. I guess I could use some of more of the blues, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a full body workout. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. That's okay. So let's do blue and orange. Okay, and then we'll do the same over here. And if I don't do strength training, even though I kind of use these to track strength training, what I have been doing sometimes is like marking, if I do cardio, like marking my average heart rate and then my high heart rate, stuff like that. So I still kind of use them to track things that are and fitness. Okay, so that is it for function. Now we can just go to town on decor. And I think I'm going to start with the leaves. All right, so we have leaves on the page. Now, I do actually have some washi tape, too, that's very jungle-esque. Let's see. Let me pull out my big washi tape. This came from Hobby Lobby, right? No, Joanne, sorry. That's where it came from. So I have this. This came from Archer and Olive. So I have this, then I also have this gold foil paw print. That's cute. That's sort of like leopard spots pink. I think if I do wash you, I'll stick to one of these. So like I could do this, this is super cute, but I feel like this would need to go somewhere else other than the bot. That's cute. Because I was going to do some washi to sit the animals on, but I don't know if I'm going to do that now. So first of all, I'm going to use some of the birds. <laughs> the birds definitely do need a perch, though. So I might have to use some washi. But I might not. Let's 
let's do that. Let's see what this looks like. I think I got this from actually Hobby Lobby. And I can't find the end. Here it is. I feel it. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Don't quote me on that. But I always kind of just like randomly check out there. They have a, I don't know, quite, I mean, it's not a huge washy area at Hobby Lobby. But it's, it's a little bit larger than a lot of the other craft stores I'm finding. See, we can do this. <laughs> that way it's just not kind of chilling in the air. All right. Um, so then we're going to, oh, we have the flamingo. All right. We'll put the flamingo over here. So down at the bottom, I don't write anything anyway right now, just because I'm not tracking. Let me grab my gel pen because I'm um, not tracking my foods or anything. I'm just tracking my macros because I'm using an app for my foods. So I just transfer that information here. Okay. So I, you know, if you guys caught my last plan with me, I do decorate the bottom, which I have been doing anyway in the wellness layout. I do have a little bit more room to decorate and play with here. All right. And then we have this guy. I think he would be cute there, but is he going to run into my... I mean, he can really... Uh, he needs to be like here and here. So he's going to run into my toque. And let me... um. You know, let me move him. Let me move him. Let's hope he doesn't rip or she. Um, just move him down. That's all I got to do. You know, you line things up and everything looks great. And then <laughs> another sticker takes priority. I mean, I have to add. <laughs> I have to add the sloth. That's, that's my current mood. Hopefully this will cheer me up. All right, so I do think I have to wipe this out too. That's the only bad thing with clear stickers. I love clear stickers. They're great for layering. They don't, you know, because like when you have paper stickers, a lot of times they have those thick white borders. This pen is doing really good today a lot of times it's not but it is this is a I say this all the time but it's a Bayoki which is probably wrong um just white gel pen it's a 1.0 got it from Amazon I think I actually got this I don't know if I got that separate or got it part of a kit it's been a, it's been a while like I bought them a long time ago and really hadn't used them so all right let me see there's another tree let me put this tree down first. So I was going to say I could do that, but I don't think that's cool. We'll do this over here. And I'll go around. Oh, that needs to go down a little bit. And it might rip my... Oh, it didn't. I didn't push it down up there. Thank goodness. Because it would have probably pulled the ink off of my sticker. Because that is not the best label paper that I purchased. If you guys know of any good label sticker paper that's in the matte white, just let me guy let me know cuz I'm like on the hunt. A lot of the ones I have I have like oily fingertips. I mean, you can't see the oil, <laughs> but I know because it rubs like all the numbers and letters off my keyboard. So that's how I know I have oily fingertips. <laughs> and um so I have two of these. Hmm. I guess I think I want to use all the stickers. So, so I want to put these all together. Like have both of the. I don't know, guys. I'm just going to use them all. But this is like a little small guy. We'll just put him there. And then we'll put the bigger one. 
over here by the leaves. I don't, I don't think I'm going to wipe those lines out. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave them. This is where I it, this is where I enter the lazy portion of my uh <laughs> the lazy portion of the spread. I'm like, oh, I was all into whiting stuff out, and now I'm like, eh, it's fine. I like to white it out when it's like a small area where it stands out a little bit more. Like right through the iguana's head. But I just feel like I don't really need it as much. Ah, that now it's bothering me now I said something, but I still might just leave it. Okay. We'll see. You'll see if the lines are still there when I take my photos for Instagram. Okay. I'm liking this. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so I have another flamingo. which I kind of want to put with it. Like I could put it over here, but I kind of want to put it with it. Let's white it out. Do I want to move the tiger? I think I want to move the tiger or the cheetah, sorry. Wrong animal, wrong animal. All right, so we're just going to do this. And I am going to wipe this out, which means that you guys, I probably will lift this up. Once I'm done, you guys won't see it and wipe that out as well. Okay. Oh, <laughs> forgot about the bottom. Just don't like it when it like goes right through their like face or head. It's just, it's a little bit more obvious than it is when it's their body. Okay, that works. Very, very fun. Now I have this other toucan. Toucan. I don't know why I said toucan. Never say toucan. <laughs> Developed an accent all of a sudden. We'll just put him or her here. This is very <laughs> bright and summery and I'm just, it's been a abnormally warm winter so I'm not like a huge fan of heat but definitely don't like the cold either so this is kind of giving me the spring summer fun vibes and like I said going away is also bright colorful cheerful mood all right so now we can add some more of these I have a lot of leaves yet left so I think I'm gonna put this up here and guys I've been like so like <laughs> My mind has been so into this spread. I haven't really chatted as much about, usually when I do my fitness and wellness spreads, it's like check-in time, how I'm doing, how everything's going as far as wellness and wellness planning. I haven't done that because like I said, it's just, this is so different for me that I'm like, <laughs> I'm zoned in guys, I'm zoned in. But um, no, everything is going good for me as far as my fitness and wellness. I will say that February, I may have already mentioned this. Um, I forget what I mentioned in previous plan with me. But do I have a, let's just use, I like this one, but I might have to, this one's kind of big. I might just do this one up here, which means I'm going to have to cut and punch, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I did fall off a little bit when it comes to working out in the fall. I mean, in the fall. Oh my gosh. In February. <laughs> Where is my mind today? Um, I was talking about the seasons earlier and for some reason fall became on my brain. Um, so I did fall off a little bit in February, 
where I went like a whole week without working out. Um, and then for me, I don't know why, but like when I have those weeks where like I don't work out, it's just everything falls off track, which means like my eating is also like really bad that week. Um, so yeah, it was a bad week, but hey, we all have those. And the next week I kind of, you know, went back at it. But because I had eaten kind of bad and hadn't really worked out, I had to kind of slow back into it. Like, um, especially when it came to like cardio for weights, I was okay. Like I kind of stayed with the same weights that I had been using. Um, it wasn't a long enough break. But for cardio, I think the eating bad and stuff like that, I really had to kind of ease back into that. So, yeah, that was fun. But like I said, you know, when we work out, we're going to have times where we're not, where we have our off days or off weeks or maybe even an off month. And that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, we're going to have that. We're going to have busy times. Um, if we go on a vacation, I mean, it definitely can throw a wrench into things as far as our workout and eating routine. And, you know, sometimes we can stay, you know, on track on vacation, which is something that I'm hoping to be able to do. But I'm not going to stress about it. Like, I'm not going to make that, like, a priority. Like, if I'm looking at a menu and there is something that I really, really want and I'm on vacation, that, and, like, the healthier options aren't as appealing, I might splurge and do one of those, like, unhealthy options. I mean... Fortunately for me, I'm, I am gluten-free, so that does help me a little bit when it comes to some of those bad restaurant <laughs> appetizers and desserts, but I'm not going to limit myself. Check that. I am going to limit myself to an extent. I'm not going to overindulge, but when it comes to the actual choices, I don't want to have that like diet mindset when I'm on vacation, so hopefully I can do that but like I said I'm not going to that's not going to be the focus my focus is enjoying myself relaxing and having fun so that is what I'm going to do all right so now I'm going to pull out my planner and pop this in oh I did not trim this side I did such a bad job of trimming this I just feel like you have to like put it in your planner to get the full, <laughs> to get the full look of this. I have it on disc because this is what, oh, I didn't punch. I didn't punch. All right, guys. So that is it. I'm trying to clean off my desk while I'm talking because it is giving me anxiety. <laughs> All right, that's it. I love this spread. This is so fun. It is, there's nothing fitness related except for my boxes, my functional Everything else is not, and I love it. I think it's nice. It's a nice contrast, like I said, as I'm flipping through this one to see some fitness spreads, to see some non-fitness spreads. I think it's great. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I want to thank you to all of those who have already subscribed. Um, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. I also want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with little me. Um, I really do appreciate that as well. Um, that is all I have for now. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.